Well, we are here at the Republican State Convention in Rochester with Congressman Bob Turner, who is launching a uh, what he hopes will be a successful bid for the nomination to challenge Kirsten Gillibrand for United States Senate. So how do you feel about being here, and how do you think it's going to go? Well, hello, Celeste. Nice <laughs> seeing you again. Um, uh, I'm here looking for delegates. Uh, I've been in this uh, senatorial contest now about oh, 48 hours. Uh, when it became apparent that um, the uh, maps for the 9th District uh, are set and uh, were pretty well eliminated from any uh, chance. So if I want to be in the, uh, what I think is the fight of our lives, the election in uh, uh, this November, I, I got to do what uh, can only be done, and that's uh, take on the uh, Senate. So here I am. And um, obviously you have uh, at least three other people <laughs> that I know of. I don't know if somebody's going to jump in at the, at the very last minute. Uh, but three other people already looking for the nomination. Some of them have racked up some endorsements. Uh, you have uh, got some endorsements right off the bat. So people are interested in you. How do you think this is all going to play out? Well, we're going to see how it plays out. Uh, the other candidates have been at this for a while. And they're all good, credible people. And um, I have no issues. Uh, it's simply a matter of who can do the best job in November and who has the best shot to win in November. And I have to say, I believe that's me, but we're going to leave that to the delegates to decide. And uh, lastly, why do you think that people should vote for you, uh, should become your delegates here, and then presumably vote for you in November if you were to take on uh, Senator Gillibrand? Well, I offer the uh, solution. Senator Gillibrand is the problem. We have a lot of things to deal with, from the deficit to the debt to de joblessness uh, to a weak foreign policy to a, a whole host of things. So we're on the different sides of, of uh, the issue, and I think the voters will have a clear choice. Thank you so much, Congressman.